You might remember in part one of this video I showed you how to take the old roof light out of your van. Today we're going to prepare the new light to go in and fit it. Right, first thing I'm going to do is just give that ceiling groove, that's where the new sealant's going to go, a white round with a little bit of solvent just to remove the mould release agents from when it was made. And once I've done that I'm going to abrade it with a bit of emery paper. That will just make sure that the new sealant gets a good bond, sticks nice and firmly. So I'll just give that a light rub round all the way around. When you're doing this, it's a good idea to put the roof light on some soft paper towel because obviously it's going to be moving around. If you've got that on a rough surface, you'll scratch the dome, which you really don't want to do on a new roof light. So we'll just give that a clean round. Another wipe with the solvent just to remove the debris from the abrasion. That's it, and that's all nice and clean. A couple of little bits there. The sealant I'm using is a non-setting bedding mastic. It's really sticky stuff. It's quite soft. To apply it, it comes in a tube, you put it in a gun like this. What I've done is cut a V into the nozzle end so that as I now apply it and squeeze it out, it will form about a half inch high 12 millimeter bead that will squeeze down when we put that onto the roof, take up all the imperfections in the roof surface and the frame of this and form a nice watertight seal. It's always the tricky bit turning the corner with this. Take your time over this bit, because this is the, probably the most important part of the job, making sure that you get a good sound bead of sealant onto the job. And another corner. Again, always make sure that you've got something soft under the roof light so you don't scratch it. And wear some gloves because this stuff, it won't hurt you if you get it on your skin, but it takes a lot of getting off. It sticks. One more side. Just overlap it. And when you finish, just, peel, just be very careful that you don't drip a trail of that into the clear dome because it'll make a mess. Right, that's now ready to go back up. So we'll pop that up on the roof and drop it into the hole. So now we're back inside the van. It's not necessarily a two-man job, but it is easier if you've got somebody who can lower the roof light in and somebody inside who can guide it into place. Because obviously with the sealant, it needs to be a one-shot job. We don't want to be moving it around once, the seat, once it's sitting on the sealant. So, OK, Tim, if you'd like to pass it down. The thing is, you see, from outside, you can't see that the frame is going into the aperture properly. But from inside, you can. So we'll just gently bed that down onto the adhesive sealant. And the next stage will be to put the fastening clips on to hold it down. So here are the fixing clips, as you can see, four of them are radiused, they're for the corners. Now I'm going to just screw them in a little way with the power driver just to speed the job up. But I'm not going to pull it down tight because I haven't got the sense, the feel with the power driver. I'll do the final tightening with a hand screwdriver. we we'll pop the corners in first. They can be a little bit fiddly to start, but not too difficult. One thing worth bearing in mind when you're doing a job like this is to use the right screwdriver. Many people don't realise that there are two types of crosshead screws. There are Phillips and there's PosiDrive. If you use the wrong screwdriver type, you can damage the screw. The screwdriver can slip out of the screw and you slip and damage something else or even injure yourself. So it's very important to use the right type of screwdriver for the, the appropriate screw. These are the two screwdrivers. That's a PosiDrive, that's a Phillips. If you're coming close, you can see the difference. The posi driver's got very square, sharp prongs, teeth, if you want. 
the Phillips has got much more rounded. Now the thing is, the Phillips can cam out. What that means is, as you try to drive the screw, when the screw has reached its limit, the screwdriver can push itself out of the head. Now that means you can slip, you could even stab yourself. So just be aware and use the right screwdriver for the job. So that inserts behind the frame and then locate the screw into the hole. Just screw it in gently. And you may have noticed that there's a second hole in these fixings. This is so that we can put an additional screw in into the roof structure that will hold those fixings firmly in place. They can't slip off and let the roof light come loose. So we just pop a screw up, screw it in. Right, so that's all nicely fastened in now. Now the final stage is to put the inner, inner trim panel. If Tim could pass me that, thank you. Now for this part, an extra pair of hands is a big help because I need to put some screws in to hold this. So if you could join me on the bed for once in your life, Tim. If you can hold that for me. And we'll pile it drill. And pop a screw in. The very last pieces of these finishing trims, these go on the sides. So we place that up and slide it into position. That snaps in, that snaps in. And the other side, thank you. That's it. Quick wipe round with a cleaning cloth, job done.